Hey guys, come see what I made in November. And welcome back to Sewing from Scratch. I am Kate and this is where I teach you everything I know about sewing and we learn more together along the way. Today we're looking at all the things I made in November. It was a, it felt like a really productive month. I finished our bra making series which oh, I'm going to I'm going to fill you in on what's going on with that. So I was all geared up. I have had the final video almost totally edited and then I was working on some freelance stuff and I went back to work on the the final video, the sew along for the Ruby Bra for our series and my editing program just won't open it. it I'm not going to get into too much because I'm still very upset about it. But basically this means unless I can open a backup, which I have my doubts about, that I have to start from scratch, which was several hours of editing. So with, that is why you haven't seen it yet. We kind of went away on a little trip and I, I took that time to just like forget about it a little bit because I was quite upset. Um, that's why there was no video last week and that's why today's video is coming out later. Everything is just so behind. Plus it was our business year end for our construction business and of course I had procrastinated with that. So all that to say, November was going well until <laughs> until that happened, but we're still gonna look at what I made in this month and Just kind of show them off. I haven't done this kind of video for a couple months simply because There wasn't a whole lot to share. Yeah, so let's just check things out All right, so of course the first things I did were these two bras So this is kind of a spoiler because you were supposed to have seen the video already showing about these two bras So I am not going to go into any details about them All you need to know is I sewed two bras and there will be a video coming out about these two bras So then I started working on a vest for my husband He had kind of asked for one quite a while ago and we had modified one of his jackets to be a vest and I don't know He still just wanted like something better something a little bit neater nicer newer and uh, a little bit warmer you know, if you don't know, we live in Canada and it's been a very mild winter so far, but uh, we know that minus 40 weather is coming. So this is good for like when he's working inside outside kind of thing, instead of like putting his big jacket on and taking it off all the time. So I do not recommend this pattern. <laughs> First of all, it is the William vest from Layla Jane, I think. And when I was like looking into their company, I couldn't find anything so I think this company is no longer in business I purchased this on the thread theory website which I mean like thread theory is a brand I trust so it's kind of strange and I'm not like the drafting was nice and everything went together nicely but the instructions were not good they were not good even for an experienced sewist they were not good so if you are a beginner definitely I mean unless you have somebody experienced to help you with this I would not recommend this pattern but other than that, like the, the pattern itself, the pieces and everything were nice. <sighs> I decided to quilt this with some fleece. And I like to say that this project was cursed from the word quilted. Number one, I every time I do a quilted project, I say, never again, never again will I do a quilted project. But here we are with a quilted vest. So that just, I mean, it just takes forever, right? And I was, of course, I like to scrap together everything that I can. So I was doing just like pieces of fleece. I think I have some pictures. So of course that like doesn't ever go as well as I want. And then the spray adhesive, I didn't spend time looking for it and I should have, but that actually didn't turn out too bad. So that, you know, that was fine. Cutting the pieces, I d used my projector like I do for 99% of my sewing now. And I had to lengthen, so at first I made him a large and it was like, it fit, but it was like, if he puts a sweater under it, it's not gonna fit. And that's what he wanted to use it for, it was winter. So I made an extra large and I lengthened, uh, the uh, lengthened everything by I think three inches. And that included adding some extra length to the way the hem is finished, which I didn't need to in the end. And I'm not gonna go into like everything that went wrong because literally that would take me all day, but it did turn out nice. I, I'm happy with it. It has these welt pockets here. I did um, this like 
gingham, tan colored gingham for the lining, which I okayed with him. I was like, is this okay? Do you like this? Yes, yes, great lining. Don't care as long as it's not pink. Cool. But he was not appreciative of the detail on the pocket. Apparently that should have not been so flashy. Flashy. So, he's okay with it now, it's fine. Uh, zipper, I had a zipper, but it didn't, it, it, again, scrapping together. So a local lady had one that I bought off of her, uh, I think $4 for this 30 inch zipper. So that was nice, went in, you know, nicely once I figured it all out. And then I did some snaps on, I did the, so there's different versions of this and I did the one with the, with the snap placket all the way down and I think it finished off nicely. The only thing he says is that this one, like when it's inside, it kind of is flappy. So if he finds it to be an issue, we'll do another snap there. Uh, he wanted an inside pocket because I think like all men want inside pockets and women like heck we we have stuff too right so i did a little welt pocket here originally sewed on the wrong way fixed it and then i did a little bit of detailing here um because i was i was like really you don't you, this was like right after he commented on this and i'm like hmm, all right well i'm gonna show you <laughs> so i just stitched in love you here very subtle he actually didn't notice it till i pointed it out i was gonna let him figure it out for himself but i couldn't wait and yeah so that fits his phone and that's what he wanted that for and then i think everything else is to was to the pattern i just added in this loop here for him to hang it and i I didn't add it in the seam, the collar seam, because I didn't think the lining would be strong enough. So I just stitched it through all the layers once it was done and I made it nice and big so it can fit on like bigger uh, knobs and stuff too. And then I just put in uh, this tag, which is incredibly appropriate because this took basically all month and um, I just kept like leaving it and coming back to it because I, I just couldn't anymore. And then when I didn't have the zipper, I was like in the flow and then I didn't have the zipper and I had to wait for that. And so it's been like this whole big thing, but he's been wearing it, loving it. He actually was kind of miffed at me today. Man, I make it sound like he's mad at me a lot, but he's not, he's, he's very easygoing and I, push him to his limits but um, <laughs> this um yeah he was kind of miffed because I was like do you really need to wear your vest today and he's like why I guess not <laughs> and I was like well I, I need to film with it so he left it for me which I'm sure he's not happy about um but yeah so I, this is the extra large and it is a little wide on him but he wears this one bulky really bulky sweater underneath and that's good it's not he said it's like the perfect working size you know for him to move around in and there's still room like if he wanted to add another sweater as well so all in all i guess i can say i'm happy with how it turned out after all the struggles and struggles and struggles so that's that vest for my husband and then in between doing that vest i kind of needed like i think this is when i was waiting for the zipper i needed like a palette cleanser i'm like I just can't, like, I can't do anything complicated right now. So my daughter needed new leggings. I think she was down to like one pair, that two pairs that were long enough on her and the rest were like, I don't know, three, four inches too short. She had a major growth spurt apparently. So I whipped up four pairs of leggings from her and I used the leggings pattern from Love Notions. And I made these in a size, it's like a five, six blend, but with the six length, she has a tiny waist and then longer legs, which I don't know where she gets that from. Definitely not me. So I made, and, and then I made these all out of scraps because that's just the way we roll in my house. And so these ones are like Rough Rider inspired. Um, riders are in the playoffs. Woo! We'll probably get our butts kicked by the Bombers this weekend. But if you're a Rider fan, leave me a watermelon emoji, please. Anyway, so I, um, I made her some of these to go with some shirts that I made, which actually I don't think you guys saw those shirts. But this is, this was like, the coordinates that came on the reports because they were panels so the one leg is like the stripes with the game 
plays under it and then this side is the watermelons with the subtle game plays inside that nothing special about these they have the elastic waist love this pattern for my daughter uh, she wears them all the time so I made that one and then I made a plain like ivory color I can't show you the what, like what I made in this originally because um, in the new year in the new year you'll be able to see it but it's a French terry and it's like so cozy. She hasn't worn these ones yet. I, I thought these would be nicer for like under dresses because they're they're neutral. So those are those warm cozy ones. Then I also made these ones, which I think might be my favorite out of the four that I made. I just love the color. This was uh, this is the Fabric Snobs um, boyfriend jersey. I made my husband a shirt for orange shirt day, and then I had enough scraps to make my daughter a pair of leggings. So. There's those ones. Like I said, yeah, they go with like everything, so I love that about them and that they're not black. And then the tie-dye ones. So this is tie-dye from Sheer Perfection. I still have some. I yeah, I still have a little bit left too to make something else. But a pair of those. She had a pair of tie-dye ones, two in another, a different like green um colorway, and she wore them out. So they these ones Hopefully she gets, you know, enough wear out of before they wear out. So those were those four things. Okay, now I'm including this. Technically it's not done. Today is December 2nd. I'm filming the same day as it's going up, which is, I don't think this has ever happened. But I started this for her um, at the weekend, I think. Cut it out and everything and then started sewing it up. Um, this is a panel that I bought... I think two years ago from Sheer Perfection. Obviously last year couldn't use it, she didn't have any skating, so I didn't bother using it last year and then now I'm doing it up this year. So the panel was, um, had a flaw in it, a cut, so I was kind of working around that. Plus, I mean, panels just aren't, like there's not a lot, enough fabric to make like an entire sweater out of it. So I had to really get creative. I did some serious pattern Tetris on Inkscape with my projector and it, it worked like really well. I was able to put the flaw in the, like make my fabric on the screen, put the where the flaw was, and then I put where the, where the actual, um, design was I made that like a pink rectangle so that when I projected it onto the fabric I knew where everything was and then obviously laid out all the pieces so that so that worked out really really well I did the three oh this is the summit peak hoodie from um, New Horizons they are now pattern niche and I did a three piece hood hack I have a video for this on my channel so it basically adds a gusset to the hood which I love the front of this got kind of wavy, which not happy about, so I'm gonna have to hit it with some serious steam and see, um, make sure that that comes flat. I just used some coordinating French terry that I had in my stash. Again, that was scrap busting and it was like just enough. I did some grommet patches, which turned out really, really cute. And I didn't, I, yeah, I was, we were kind of like scraping the bottom of the barrel on sizable grommets and then we wanted to use these tiny little eyelets but I didn't think they'd be big enough so then I, I did the grommets and then my daughter was like upset that she wanted the pink and purple and I didn't use them so she just stuck them in the middle and I'm like hey we can maybe make that work so I kind of hammered them in there and I don't have confidence that they'll stay but I mean for now they're working so that looks kind of cute and then I just had a zipper in my stash that happened to be the exact length um, this pattern has like inseam, like princess seam pockets. This pattern also is a, a pullover style too. You don't have to do the zipper. So it has both options. And then, so all, it's not quite done. All that's left is I have to fold up the rest of this bottom band. You can't even see. Fold up the rest of that bottom band and then top stitch it down. That's just the way I did it with the zipper. And then just finish top stitching the, um, drawstring channeling here and put a drawstring in and then it's done there's a couple places where i mean i should probably go back and fix but realistically am i going to so yeah this was something that i've been wanting to make for her for a while she started 
her, she did like a fall skate in September and then she started um, like regular season in November here. And I wanted to have it ready for the beginning of that and obviously not, but it's, it'll be ready for her next, her next lesson. So yeah, it turned out pretty good. Um, it, I made this size six, which is, it's big on her, but I wanted her to be able to wear something underneath as well. And also fit her for at least one more year, maybe two. So it turned out really nice. I am happy with the colors that I had on hand, everything like that. Again, if you don't know, I'm like trying to sew up my stash. Like that's my main goal. So I haven't really been buying fabric except the other day. I placed an order on Destashify, but that is research, people. That is research for this channel. Stay tuned, because you'll be getting to know all about Destashify. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm trying to sew up my stash. We're doing pretty good. As you can see, like everything I showed you was from my stash, well, other than the bra stuff. Um, but I still, I still have a, quite a ways to go. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. We'll talk about it next year, but for now, that is all I made in the month of November. December is going to be focusing on Christmas, obviously. I don't I don't have much to do, just a few little baby things I wanna make up. And then jeans. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so I bought the Megan Nielsen Dawn jeans and I'm planning, like I just did my Inkscape work on that so it's ready to cut the muslin. But this weekend is going to be my, my mending weekend. So normally like I mend things as they come in, but I have a stack, like a giant stack of not so much mending, but uh, alterations to do. Just things that like need a button or need, um, you know, a zipper replaced or something like that. I guess those are mending, but there's a couple things that I also need to alter. Two pairs of pants that need to be fixed so that they fit me better because I'm really lacking in pants. I have uh, the pair I'm wearing and then I have like, one pair of jeans that I kind of like wearing out. So yeah, I have these two pairs of pants that just need a little bit of tweaking. They're, they're new makes, like I've never really worn them, so I need to fix that. And yeah, so that's gonna be this weekend. And then um, Christmas and then the Dawn jeans, I kind of want to get started on that. Don't know that I'll like finish it in December, but um, we will see, I guess. So anyway, stay tuned, hit the subscribe button. You can hear all about this in upcoming videos. So thank you so much for staying to the end. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I hope you liked this video, gave it a thumbs up. And again, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future videos. I will see you there. Bye.